Well, hello everybody. Um, my name is Christian Rappelus and I'm very excited to be here today with you. And it's my first time at Worms and it's also my first paper ever. And yes, so it's very exciting for me. And so the paper itself, I have to, I, oh no, no, I want to go back. Yes, so it is written by my supervisor, Eduardo Villas, because I'm a PhD student at Technical University of Graz, but not directly with the university, but with a research center, which is owned by the Graz, so the No Center. And yes, so the topic is the Suzipu musical annotation tool for the creation of machine-readable data sets of ancient Chinese music. It's a long title, but don't worry, we will get to explain what it really means. So, because this is music which is not so common, it's non-Western music, and even in the realms of ancient Chinese music, it's rather special interest. So I will give a little bit of background. So the Suzipu notation has the literal meaning common character notation, and it originated in China's Tang dynasty, but the frequent use was in Song dynasty. So between 960 and 1279, and it is exclusively used for monophonic melodic lines. And the nice thing is we can distinguish between two types of traditions. The first one is the historic one, directly from Song Dynasty. But there is still one music tradition in China in the city of Xi'an. And it's like a folk music tradition. And it goes back or into Tang Dynasty. And it has preserved so many of the old things. It's sometimes called the living fossil. And here we have 1,200 different pieces recorded. But I wasn't able to find any of those online for the Siam Guyuan music tradition. So apparently, according to a dissertation from 2005, this tradition is very small. So we have to actively take steps to preserve it. And this is where the Suzupu annotation tool comes in later. But we will not deal with the modern folk music tradition. We will really deal with the ancient Chinese sources we have. And the largest historical source for the Suzupu notation is the so-called Bai Shi Daoren Guqi by the poet and composer Zhang Wei. So who is this person? It's very interesting. He was a poet and composer. And this collection, which has the meaning of the Songbook of Whitestone Taoist, was published in 1202. And basically, it's a collection of 200 poems. Most of them are so-called Tzu poems. It's a special form of poetry. And 28 have musical notation. Actually, it's three different notations. One is, is very well studied. The other one is also well studied. But 17 of them are in this Suzupu notation, which is not so well studied. And this will be the main focus for this topic here. And unfortunately, the original edition from 1202 has been lost. Like in, in the 14th century, it got lost. And then it reappeared at the beginning of the 18th century, and it got copied um, sometimes. So we do not have the original editions, but we have some reissues from between the 18th and 20th century. And of course, they are, they are vital for OMR creation. But let's go step by step. So now we want to do something with this music but we do not have any corpus in digital format, except for images. So this is the Worms workshop. We want to do something with OMR. So what do we have to do? Similar to the talk before, the first method, 
we will also have to take the base image and do some binarization on it. And then, because it's monophonic notation, we have one character corresponding to one syllable with one note, or like one notation. And so the first step is to find these segmentation boxes, and then we can annotate them. And here is also a bit of a larger score excerpt. And here we can identify some, some structure of the piece because this is the title, this is mode information, this is a part of the preface, and here we have the music lines and the lyric lines alternating. And because this is a bit of niche music, I want to give a very short music example. I hope it will work. Ah, perfect. So nice, you have a bit of understanding what this music sounds like. So we can now go on. So we need an annotation tool. And basically, for my PhD, a whole collection of projects is planned. It's the Suze AI project. And this is the annotation tool of the subproject for the Suze OMR. And what do we want? In order to create a baseline data set, we need to do manual annotation. And this can get very nasty because you have the segmentation boxes, you have the symbols for the Suzupu notation, which do not have had any encodings before this work. So we needed to create a tool. And also it's open source and under GPL 3.0 license. And a source code and a very extensive tutorial can be found under the GitHub link of the Suze AI project. But I will explain it in a bit more detail now. So here you can see two windows of the annotation tool. The right side is the main window, and the left side is the canvas window, because it is beneficial to work with the symbolic data and the image data very close to each other. And because we have to create all these segmentation boxes, luckily there is already some algorithms for doing that. And I took the HR Center net algorithm. Here with the new segmentation, this basically draws the box around every character and every musical symbol. This works quite well. So this is already a huge improvement for, for relieving the manual drawing of boxes. But of course, sometimes boxes must be deleted. Of course, everything of those not belonging to the piece, like this part here and this part there. Then sometimes boxes are not so well created by the algorithm. I noticed, for example, this one, or almost everyone gets split up into two. So this has to be deleted and then manually drawn. But this is really the exception. So this is already better. And then, of course, we have to mark everything as either title, mode in pink, preface in green, music in cyan, and yellow as the lyrics. And of course, here is the annotation table. So for each symbol, one has to choose the correct set of notations. And unfortunately, research has, the, like musicologist research has the problem that due to the lack of the sources, one does know that we have like the 11 pitch symbols. They are clear, but the number and meaning of these secondary symbols indicating rhythmic changes and also melodic changes, they are not clear and a bit debated, but I had to 
choose one from a dissertation as a baseline. So, and then because it's a bit difficult to, to see is this correct, what we are doing, because of course this mutation is uncommon. And so, so it was also important for us to create this additional info. Like for example, in the statistic box, the absolute node count of each of each of the notations can be seen. For example, this node appears zero times, which is expected because in this mode called Sandy Dow, this shouldn't shouldn't occur at all. So maybe if we see this shouldn't occur at all, but it occurs, maybe there is some error. And also there are two nice things for display. It's the Gen 2 notation or the Western style notation. And this gives some kind of intermediate transmutation to Western notation where the pitch symbols are already resolved. But the secondary symbols are not resolved. But you can also export it as music XML. So this gets gets really into some standard music XML file with no durations as one possible form of transmutation. Yes, I think I'm speaking already for minutes, so we'll go very quickly to the rest. Regarding OMR and the notation, we have two types, either simple or composite. Simple is easy. It's like MNIST with one extra class. I think MNIST is very common amongst um, OCR and OMR researchers. But the problem is really like the composite notation problem because we have 11 classes of the simple notation and additional secondary symbol. And for example, if you look at this one and this one and this one, they also have lookalikes in the simple notation, which is a bit difficult. And then you can have this top bottom composition or diagonal composition, left right composition, also diagonal, which makes it a bit difficult. And for the future work, it's a data set of all of these seven Suzuko pieces from by Schrodauer and Goethe from four different influential editions. And actually, this is quite finished, but it still has to be published. And when this is done, we can work on developing an OMR algorithm. And I think for the simple, oh no, this is something again. Oh, I'm so sorry. This computer dislikes me. <laughs> Ah, thank you. Uh, maybe this disconnected. I will. Okay. Oh no, something. Um, maybe just keep the key going here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. And I think for the simple notation, this will not be so much of a difficult task. But for the composite notation. It is still a problem how to separate it. And this is still an open problem we will have to work on. But we will also work with students from the TU Graz on it in a cooperation project. And until the end of the semester, we expect to have at least some results. And with this, I want to say thank you and initiate maybe a short question and answer. One question we're going to invite. So. Yes. <laughs> and then we'll go for the uh, session later. Um, do we have any questions? No. So I'll go for a question. Uh, first, I wanted to just yes. say amazing pronunciation. I think all the Chinese speakers agree to that. Um, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, the question is so this set is quite limited, right? Yes. Um, so we don't want to create new OMR tools to kind of recognize these scores because we just want to annotate them and that's it, right? So can we go through that road and just annotating and then... Yes, for the historical path, yes. But there is this Xi'an Guya music tradition, which has these 1,200 pieces consisting also of drum scores and flute scores in the Suzuko notation. 
And I think this work could act as a baseline for also digitizing this Xianguyan music in the future to also preserve this like cultural gem. And this would be, of course, great. So it's transferable knowledge. Yes, yeah. because it's not like the symbols may look a bit different, but the 11 pitch classes are the same. And so I think it would be very easily transferable also to this domain. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>